Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and I'm here checking out Virtua Tennis 4. A bit of an odd choice, I understand, because again, this is a very old game. However, this is also a very old game that has since been delisted from the PlayStation Store across the planet. So, yeah, I figured it'd be a good idea to take a look at this one. I did not press start, by the way. The game's decided to load into a... Yeah, there we go. That's actually nice. So yeah, this game was released the day and date with the Vita across the planet, so... The Japanese got it on December 17th, and we got it mid-February in 2012, I think it was. So, yeah, this is a very old game. Might as well go and have a look through it, because, you know, I've got a copy here, so why not? So, game settings are actually pretty nice. You can choose your camera, you can choose your speed, you can choose all that. If we go to controls, you can choose how you want your... Shot buttons to be. That's alright. And <laughs> rear touchpad. No. Thank God they let us turn that off. And you've got audio volumes. And strangely enough, the music volume's at zero. And yet for some reason it's playing in the background. That's a little odd. I've never noticed that. So if we go have a look around at the different modes. You've got arcade mode, which just puts you through a tournament of like four or five players. Exhibition mode, which is just free match. You've got Practice Mode, which is just a tutorial. You've got Mini Games, which I'll be able to show off through the World Tour Mode. The VT apps is actually pretty interesting. This is all stuff that was added to this version. You can play a tennis match in first person, which is weird, honestly. There's also a two-player mode with touchscreen and buttons. There's the VR camera, and there's a exclusive mini game, which is somewhat neat, but we all ignore all of them, because honestly, they're kind of irrelevant. You can actually play online, and it does work, or at least the servers are still up, but I couldn't find anyone to play with, unfortunately. I'm not surprised, honestly. There's also some interesting stuff in the World Tour online stuff as well, and my club will be able to check out in the World Tour. So, let's actually go and have a look at the World Tour, since it encompasses pretty much everything about this game, which is quite nice. So, I've got my game here. It's about uh, an hour or so long. You can change your difficulty saying I'm going to keep it on experienced. And... You can mod come here to modify your character. I'm going to leave my guy as he is, but I'll show you around all the different character customization. There's not that much to it. You can choose your serving form, for example. And your return and your forehand and your backhand. And it's just... You've got a fair amount of obvious stuff here. If we go back, we can modify a lot of stuff about the face, as you can see. It's not, absol it's not absolutely fantastic. But, at the same time, you've got pretty much everything you would expect here. You can change your hairstyle, your eyebrows, and your facial hair. It all works. You can make it look pretty nice. So anyway, we can go online during the tour, which we will do, because... This game actually lets you download other players... Players, basically. And you can end up playing other players. People. I ended up playing the most racist stereotype I've seen in a while, which was actually kind of hilarious. But as we can see... This is the world map, and the idea is we've got to try and get to the big tournaments. The big tournaments are the best way to earn fame, which I've represented in those stars up in the top left. We also have condition up in the top middle, and the condition will determine whether or not you are basically capable of playing, and this screen is absolutely destroying my Vita kit's um, frame rate, so I'm going to try and avoid being on this screen as much as possible, but if we use the right analog stick, we can have a look around. And as you can see, it plays out basically like a board game. You've got those tickets on the right side there, and you have to use those tickets, and when you use the ticket, it's discarded, and you can move that amount of spaces. So I can move to the management office, or like that. So if I come back down here, unfortunately, I'm going to have to progress across the sea a bit before I can move anywhere. Well, before I can really move anywhere. If I, It's actually probably a good idea to move on to this, because if I rest at the hotel, I'll get conditioned back. And condition is just, just determines how well you can play, so it's a probably a good idea to keep that as high as possible. Uh, play a special match against a real star player, we might do that. We can also play a mini game and charity events. And you can earn money or lose money from these events, and you use this money to, if I hit the, if I go back. We've got a few other things we can do here, we've got the SPT rating, which is basically just a high scoreboard, a localized scoreboard for your current tennis game, which really isn't that important, but it's there to give you something to strive towards. And if we go to my club, we can check out the kit catalog, which is the clothing. So I've unlocked a bunch of stuff. You unlock stuff via 
doing specific things. So win the Smash Point Award four times, do public do publicity work thirty five times, etc. 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 You get the idea, right? So you can you can come here and you can buy gear using the money that you've earned. And these sunglasses look bloody ridiculous. So if I try them on, yep, they look retarded. <laughs> So yeah, you can come and buy a bunch of stuff here. You can also choose your doubles partner. You can actually get real life tennis players. So the last time I was playing this, I've actually played through the, this entire campaign, and I've gotten a full on. I've gotten um, I think it was Roger Federer as my doubles partner at one point, which was actually really cool. But anyway, you can also come and get a play style lesson. When you play mini games, you unlock. Uh, uh, you level up four different abilities. Your stroke, your defensive, your tactical, and your net play. And these unlock different play styles. And these play styles will give you different ways to get your special meter up. And when you fill your special meter up, you can do special a special shot, which will do a lot of favors. But right now, I can't really do anything else. And I'll stick with hard hitter. So, let's find some place to go. Uh... Yeah, I really do think I should go and play the special singles match. It's a shame I can't do both at once. You have to decide what you want to do. Which is actually a really clever idea, because you can't do everything at once, right? At least a regular tennis player wouldn't be able to do everything at once. So, you have to pick and choose what you do, and you might just be inconvenienced enough to miss a good event and end up leaning right on a bad, on a bad event. It's surprisingly compelling. Hey, there he is! Roger Federer. Good on him. So, let's give this a shot. Yes, this game has, like two dozen something real tennis players, so yeah, it's quite neat. And I actually really love this court. It's on the, it's on the, on a really big ship. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So virtual tennis is a lot more arcadey than other tennis games that I've personally played. So it's, it's actually the only tennis game on Vita, but I've played a fair few tennis games and it is really arcadey. So your main shot buttons are, whoops. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. I'm here to have fun. So your main shot button is your X button, which is your main shot button. You can obviously control what direction your shot's going using um, your movement controls. You can use the D-pad or you can use the analog stick. Again, because my analog stick is playing up a bit, I've been avoiding using it. So being able to play this game on the D-pad is actually quite nice, although it does hurt your thumb after a while. I don't blame the game for that. Like, God, no. I, um, I blame myself for having a fucking broken Vita. But yeah, again, it's, it's very simple. You've got your square button, which is a lob shot, which will slow the ball down a fair bit, which is very good for defensive play. And you do have the triangle button, which is a uh, up in the clouds. I go zoom, 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 zoom. I'm usually a lot better than this. I just, I, I can't focus because I'm talking. And you can do a drop shot as well. So if I hit down and triangle, it'll do a lob shot, which means I can, um... Which means I can bring him closer to the net if I want to, which sometimes is well worth the time. If you hold down a shot button, you'll also charge up your power, and you'll do more powerful shots. A little bit of a weird artifact there, but we'll deal with it. Most of the frame drops are being caused by the capture kit. The game actually runs at a really solid... I f I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess it's... Shit. I'm gonna guess it's shit. I'm gonna guess it's the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the capture kit, because the capture kit is really not good with solid colors, and this this game just tends to set it off. I don't know why, but oh well, right? So yeah, you got all your different shots to work with, and the game is rather forgiving. Like, I've played Everybody's Tennis on PSP. That's a good game as well, by the way. I should do a video on that one of these days. But it's a... Very forgiving game because you can hit a button when you're like nowhere near close to the ball and you'll be driven towards it. Like you can play on experience, which will remove this, um, not experience. You can play on the highest difficulty level, which will remove this assist a bit. But otherwise, the game is rather forgiving and it's pretty good for, um, people who like tennis games but aren't very good at games. So you can come and have a lot of fun. And the game's campaign, oh god, whoop, there it goes. Damn you, Roger Federer. Although the game does tend to look a bit weird when it goes into those close-up shots. It seems to go into like 15 FPS or something, which is kind of odd, but not that big of a deal because it's mostly skippable. Oh, shit. Oh, cheeky fuck. <laughs> oh, man. All right. 
There is a bit more to it, though. It's definitely not an easy game. Especially later... Oh, God damn it. Son of a bitch. Gotta get... Gotta get my game back, son. Oh, really? Give me a break. But yeah, the game's got a fair bit more nuance to it than you might expect. Obviously, the different types of court affect the way th a ways things play. You've got... All, all the AI is actually really good at times. It's actually kind of strange. Like, I played through the entire campaign, as I said, and I believe I've complained about this before, if anyone remembers, but I haven't actually done a game on... A video on this game in particular, so I haven't really been able to talk about it in length. But once you get towards the end of the campaign, which involves, like... Going through four different seasons, which is like all four different regions of the map. And you get to like the world's, like the, the biggest tournament in the world. I can't remember exactly what his name is, but it's big. Shit. It's big. The... The AI can get a little bit rubber bandy. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Because you get, um... You get to a point where you're breaking ties with the AI really magnificently. And then they slow down a little bit, let you catch up, and, like, let you get, like, one set of points in front, right? And then, you'll be playing, and they'll try to, and they'll get much better, just out of fucking nowhere. Power shot. See how I filled up my power bar up in the top left there, and then I got to use that, which is quite nice, because it, it's taken us to a tie break, which is good, because now tie breaks go for sets of, I think it was seven? Or is it like when you get five points ahead? I I can never remember with this bloody game. Like, who came up with the idea with 15, 30, 40? Christ almighty. Seems like such a silly thing to me. But yeah, the AI can be a little bit rubber bandy, but then again, I wasn't very good at the game back then, so maybe... Maybe I was just, like, incompetent and... Not really able to handle the stress, but... I'm still having a lot of fun playing Virtua Tennis 4, because it's... It's got a lot of variety in it, too. Like, I'm hoping I'll be able to show off some of the... Shit! <laughs> I'm not very good at pressing buttons at the right time, am I? Alright, let's give this another shot. Max power... Bang. There we go. Yep, that that was um the capture kiss file right there again. These frame drops are really annoying. But yeah, Virtual Tennis 4 is a lot of fun. The video the mini games add a lot of shit. Should have seen that coming. The mini games add a lot of variety, which I'll be more than willing to show you because we've only been playing for about ten minutes. And I really do like the way the board is laid out, because as I said before. It just, it really gives you the idea that you're on a schedule to get to where you need to be going, and you need to be doing specific things like, um, choosing whether or not to promote yourself, or actually get into tennis matches, which is not really a good idea, because you've got to manage your condition, and, like, it's not the, it's not the most amazing thing in the world, it's pretty basic, but at the same time, it's compelling, which is a, oh shit. It's pretty compelling, which is what I like to see in a tennis game. The art of tennis itself is actually quite, well, boring after a couple of games because, I mean, nothing against tennis, don't get me wrong, it's just, like, anything that's like tennis, which is just so simple on the surface, will get a couple, a, a little bit boring after a couple of games, right? It's, it's, it's something, it happens to everything, it's just it happens to things like sports faster, in my eyes at least, and the game does remain interesting with all that different stuff. What helps is the game's graphical qualities, because, I mean, Jesus, for a launch title, this game looks fantastic. Like, even on the Vita, it looks a lot better in motion, because you can't really see the, um, you can't really see the, uh, weird graphical effects that would tend to come up in a video that's been blown up to 1080p, and then encoded on YouTube, because YouTube fucking sucks. Yes. I love winning against the pros, like... I think they made the AI, they make the AI of the pros a little bit easier, so you can actually stand a chance early on when you don't have very many skills, but yeah. The game still looks bloody amazing, so it's 
Really impressive they managed to pull this off. <laughs> yeah, I actually get his gear so I can go dress up as him. That's pretty neat. So where can I move? Can I move to a mini game? I'll, I'll move down and get some rest. There's a shop down there and it'll let me buy special tickets. So I can buy specific move tickets. So I can buy, um... What's, what is it that I can buy? I can buy... I really shouldn't have skipped that, honestly. Ah. Uh, poor guy, must feel a bit... Alright, we'll go to this shop. This is actually a special shop. Yep, so I get a bunch of stuff here. So, I can buy a bunch of different kinds of tickets. So, extend the active season by two days, uh, get a workout. I'll buy three random item tickets, because why not? You do even get fan mail and stuff like that. I mean, again, it's minor, but I, I really do like it. Alright, so I got a move two ticket and two shuffle tickets. That's a little bit odd, but anyway. Um, okay, I'll move to this. I won't waste your time with another game just yet. I'll actually show off a mini game this time. Actually, I can show off two, so this will be good. So this is one of the mini games. There's 10 in the game and every one of them fills up a specific stat. So if you want to go for a specific type of play, well, that's it's probably a good idea to um, try and focus on a specific set of games. So this is wall tennis. The idea is you got to try and raise these walls and win the set. Well, not the set, the, um, the, the point. And if you win the point, you get points. And all these mini games are based around the idea of earning points. If you earn enough points, shit. I really should have seen that coming. If you earn enough points, you succeed in the training, and earning even more points will get you like bonus money, which is actually really useful. Shit. <laughs> Did that to myself, didn't I? Admittedly, I'm not great at the mini games. I need a little bit more practice, but um. I mean, this is like the first time I've picked this game up in... Shit. <laughs> this is the first time I've picked this game up in a while, so I just, I need to get used to playing it again. Like, I'm pretty sure I put something like 15 hours into it back when I first got it, which was actually a really long time ago, but, um... I still enjoy the absolute shit out of it. As I said before, it looks bloody gorgeous. Other than those, like, weird performance dips that show up sometimes in the... Shit. Other than those weird performance drops that show up sometime in the, um, like, after, after rally kits? Is it rally? Volley. Volley kits. Yeah, other than the somewhat weird frame rate drops that show up sometime there, the game runs at a really stable frame rate, like, all the freaking time. So, it really is a well done port. For something that came out when the Vita originally launched, it's actually really impressive, I've got to say. Let's play chicken. <laughs> I can't remember the exact name of this name, but it's got chicken in the name somewhere, or chick, or egg collector. Never mind. Deliver the chicks to their mother. <laughs> These games are actually kind of ridiculous, but anyway, here's the drill. Grab as many eggs as possible and try and avoid being hit by the balls. And the more chicks you get, the more points you get. And again, all these different mini games really do add up to a... All these different... Ah, Poor chick. Interesting concept for a mini game based around running towards the ball, but whatever. I, I won't. I, I I'm not gonna draw too much attention to it. Oh, poor chicken. The sound quality is pretty good too, as well. Like, generally with some Vita games that are based off like real life people and stuff like that. You tend to have, like, compressed audio or something like that. But no, this game has actually got some pretty damn good audio quality as well. So, it's a really good port. That's... It's a really good port. That's basically all I've got to say about it. It's really neat. Let's get let's get on the move again. Um, Alright, we'll move down here and I can show off another mini game. And then I'll probably show off, like, one more tennis match. And then we'll call it a day, shall we? But, yeah. The variety, the ease of play, and the sort of campaign, board game, metagame thing all come together and make something that's actually really satisfying. And you can put a ton of time into this. 
considering the way that the game... Considering the way that the game structures itself, playing the game for like 10 minutes or like 6 hours are all like reasonable ways of playing it. Which is really a shame because this is the only tennis game the Vita actually has. And it came out at the very beginning of the Vita's lifespan, so I don't know what the hell they were thinking by delisting it. But then again, they probably weren't making that much money from it. I'm gonna guess that if there was like a digital distribution of like virtual tennis somewhere else, it probably went down as well because you know it's a it's a thing. It, that's a thing that happens where you, they just can't afford the license anymore and they can't be bothered to renew it, and they've still got physical copies out there. Except for Vita, that's not that much of a thing, is it? Because considering that lots of shops are, um... Considering that lots of shops are not s stocking or selling Vita games anymore, and this game has probably been out of print for years. So chances are the only way you'll be able to get this game now is either already buying it, like, years ago, before it went off the PlayStation Store, or finding a second-hand copy in a shop somewhere. Yep, this is my home country, alright. My fucking phone. What the hell? I'm not even going to answer that. Let's just pretend that it's not there, because I've been getting bloody buggered by the, um... I've been getting bloody buggered by telemarketers for the past few days, and it's just get, it's just ridiculous. I cannot be bothered to answer this shit anymore. It's goddamn dumb. Please stop ringing the goddamn phone, you assholes. Ugh. Um, okay, if I move forward to here... Then I can move forward to the next one. So I'll show off one more game and then I'll show off another t another tennis match. Because shut up, you stupid phone! I am so sorry. I really need to stop talking so loudly. But yeah, um, is that it? Yes, that was it. Thank God. I don't know what the hell they want. Anyway. So yeah, this game prioritizes accuracy over anything else. I'm actually pretty accurate with my shots, aren't I? For the most part. You can, um, like, prioritize specific cards to get... to get different poker hands. It's a shame you can't get, like, royal flushes or something, but, you know. Full house. I say I'm accurate with my shots just as I start really fucking them up. It's kind of great. Ah, uh, not that big of a deal. Success. And you do get harder versions of any games as well, so it's not like they stay relatively easy. Alright, we'll go have one more match of tennis. Which is down here. A Undextaga. I imagine this is someone's um, custom-made character. I did play against a real pro. Now you can see how I play against someone who isn't actually part of the game. One thousand one hundred fifty-six stars. This guy's been playing for a while. All right, let's do this. It's a rather more vanilla tennis court, but you know. It's a tennis game, it's not like they're going to put me on the fucking moon, right? But yeah, overall, Virtual Tennis 4 is freaking excellent. It's the best tennis game you can get on Vita. It's a shame there isn't, like, a really hardcore mode for, like, you know, people who want a, a real, like, hardcore tennis sim, but... As an arcade tennis game, it's really good, the port's fantastic, and the fact that it came out, like, day one on Vita is, like, incredible, honestly. Like... This, the Vita's launch lineup had a lot of good games on it that people bloody ignored, right? Like, there was Virtua Tennis, there was Sheena Bido... You know, Luminous didn't really get that much attention after the first few days. Not 
It's weird to look four years back and see one of the best looking games on the Vita, isn't it? Smack. Away goes the ball. Damn, almost had a perfect game. Doof. What is it with that tennis racket shape? Is it... That would be perfect for shoving up someone's ass if you're angry with them. But, I mean... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Tried to be funny and... Wasn't even really that funny. And still managed to miss the shot. There we go. Slow that ball down a bit. Ouch. Well, now I'm in a juice. That'll be fun. And he threw his racket on the ground, despite the fact that he managed to draw me into a juice. Like, why, why, why does that make you angry, son? Whoop. Up, up, and away. Come on, my folk. There we go. Wrong move! <laughs> ah, fun. Come on, then. Oh. Cheeky bastard. Alright, tie break time. Why does it always come down to tie breaks? There we go. <laughs> I love how the guy just has a dodge out of the way in the background. It's like, whoop! What, do you think you're in the Matrix, mate? Why so angry, guy? Come on. Was he trying to catch it there or cover his nuts? I don't know. Let's get over to the... <sighs> Here I am thinking he was going to go for me there. Alright, my turn again. Whoop, almost. You know what? Screw a power shot. Say goodbye to that. I love it. That one guy, despite the fact that it's not going to land anywhere near him, goes to cover his nuts, and the other guy is just like, you know, complete emotionless husk on the wall. Despite the fact he's about to get conked in the face. Everybody's tennis was actually pretty good good about that too. Because what it would do was you'd get all sorts of weird... Excuse me. Smack. Nope. No, thank you. Oh, God. I really need to learn when to do my defensive plays. God, he's got the advantage over me. I might lose this. Amazing. Like, I... I lose to an actual, like... I, I, I would lose to a player-created character when I beat an actual tennis... Fuck! Jesus! Ah, there we go. I had to lose one eventually. This is actually the first game I've lost since I started the save file, so... Oh well, not that big of a deal. Yeah, but I get to walk out of there with my bag on my back and barely any fucking money to show for it. And I'm a lot worse in my condition at the moment, which means that when I do get around again to Australia, I'm going to be pooped. So, yeah. There's four of these different kinds of tourneys. They take a few hours to get through each and... Uh, when you get to the very end, obviously, you'll have a big thing, and then you can, uh, replay another year, and get even higher on the standings and all that, so, yeah, 
that was a look at Virtua Tennis 4. It's a great port, and the fact that nobody ever talks about this is actually kind of disappointing, honestly. I mean, I watch, like, the Vita subreddit and stuff like that, and I just, I'd never hear about Virtua Tennis 4. It's brilliant. The only reason I haven't kept it around is because it's, like, a gig and, you know, digital. Always gonna be running out of room somewhere, so... Yeah, if you see, like, a cheap copy of Virtual Tennis 4 lying around somewhere, pick it up. You won't regret it. And that's something I'm definitely not going to be saying about some other games that are coming up in this, like, sort of retrospective series. It's not really a series as much as it is just a thing I do from time to time. But, yeah, so that was a look at Virtual Tennis 4. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.